the newly introduced liquid glass effect at WWDC is incredibly cool because it brings a stunning dynamic visual depth to apps, making interfaces feel more modern and engaging. This video will show you how to create this immersive effect for pre-iOS 26 versions for your app, ensuring your design stays ahead of the curve. Mastering this technique is essential for developers looking to elevate their UI as it combines smooth animations with sleek transparency. Also, make sure to check out my Swift UI summer sale. The link is down in the description. Now, today we are going to talk about liquid glass. Now, if you haven't already noticed, this was kind of the highlight of WWDC. Yeah, it was really, really visual indeed. And it's basically the new UI a language of uh, the Apple framework. And it's really, really nice. This is available of uh, iOS 26. Uh, but I was thinking, uh, what if I want to have this type or some sort of something like this uh, pre-iOS uh, 26? And uh, yeah, that's what I did. I uh, already, if you don't want to bother with this, go ahead and check it out. It's at github.com slash developer slash liquid glass, just like that. But today I'm just going to go through it. So how uh, I built it and uh, what's the end result. So by the way, let's start off with the end result. And here is a demo project that I have created. It's basically a background, a Z stack. It has a background and then some uh, a V stack with an image and a text and some, you know, modified foreground styles. Uh, yeah, there is this for the sky of labels. Uh, you might want to use this. Let me just uh, show you before we get into the nitty gritty. So under the assets, I have created this labels color on the any appearance, like in light mode, it should be black. And on dark mode, it should be what? And that uh, is going to be changing. Let me just come back over here so you can see it better. On the light and dark mode. And let me just show you by what I mean. If I just switch to dark appearance, it will indeed switch to the white foreground color for uh, basically the whole VStack in my case. So it's uh, foreground sky dot labels. Let me just move that back. And uh, let's take a look at this. So we have this extra view modifier called dot glass that is coming from the liquid glass framework. We just import it, of course, and you want to add it as a Swift package uh, as uh, usual. And that's all you have to do is just add in glass and use the default values and you get this nice pre-built, it's, it's really amazing. Like as you can see, it, it kind of resembles it. It's not exactly like it, of course, <laughs> but uh, it's really, really going there. Now, uh, this view modifier has a lot of uh, options. So if I just comment that out and comment this one in, as you can see, it's, it's not that nice, but it, you know, it's kind of ugly actually. But now you can see that you can actually tweak this view modifier. So this made load automatic. We are going to get into all of these when I'm going to show you the actual code. Uh, radius 64, you might guess that this is the corner radius. Color, that's the color of the of the uh, the kind of this belt and the the uh, drop shadow material that's the material that we have right over here ultra thin material opacity if you want to change that 0 0.9 gradient opacity that is the gradient for this uh, stroke yeah it is basically a stroke gradient style uh, that the style of the gradient you will see uh, what we have uh, uh, there stroke width uh, shadow color again blue uh, oh yeah the color is for the 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 uh, for the uh, stroke <laughs> and then uh, shadow radius x and y and basically that's it now uh, I'm just going to take it back to use the default values it's a much nicer as you can see and, you know, it looks uh, much like the liquid glass from Apple. Of course, it has some missing features, you know, that it's, it's not perfect as usual. If we would have had it uh, uh, with this pre iOS 26 version, then most probably we would uh, use it because it's such a nice uh, UI element. Okay. 
just launched the ultimate Swift UI bundle. You will get everything I ever made for Swift UI that is 20 plus digital goodies, plus a seat on my live Swift UI camp on Zoom starting July the 1st. It's all worth over $3,000, but right now it's yours for only $199. Whether you're just getting started or leveling up your skills, this is your chance to go all in and build like a pro. But heads up, spots are limited and once they are gone, that's it. Ready to make this your summer of Swift UI? Let's go. The link is down in the description. So uh, let me just uh, minimize this or rather I'm just going to switch to the actual package. As you can see, this is available as of iOS 15 plus and uh, you know, all of the other platforms. And then uh, this is basically a, a view modifier added onto and uh, I just have this view at the bottom view extension of glass and then all of the properties and it's just going to feed that in, into this liquid glass background modifier that is a view modifier and that's what we have over here and uh, we have the display mode and that is always and automatic we're just going to jump over there in just a second gradient style normal or reverted obviously and then radius color, all of the things that I have uh, talked about. We have a custom initializer. Uh, if we you know, don't want to add all of them, we have some default values, for example, for material, opacity, and all of these. As you can see where you can see an equal sign that has a default value. Okay, and finally, kind of the magic, you know, the, the magic sauce over here. Uh, before we get into it, we have these gradient colors uh, for Norber and Reverter. This is uh, the uh, gradients array for the gradient uh, with the colors. Basically, you know, I'm just going to extrapolate it into a separate function. So yeah, this is the content which we are going to add our view modifier on, and it has basically four view modifiers, the background, the material with the opacity, corner radius with the radius, overlay, and this is basically the uh, 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 gradient, linear gradient with uh, the gradient colors that we are adding in, and uh, then the stroke width. And then, of course, we are going to add some shadows. And believe it or not, it's as simple as that. I know uh, it does not convey the whole liquid glass effect that we have as of iOS 26, but it, it's really similar to it. It looks really nicely and uh, it's basically just it. If you don't want to use uh, my library, go ahead and just stop the video and just copy out all of this code or just go over there and just copy it out. It's just one file as you can see. So let's take uh, one final look at it. As you can see, it's really nice. It supports, of course, color schemes. You know, let's take a look at the dark appearance. It's really amazing. I really like it and hope you enjoyed it too and if you like to learn a little bit more about swift ui go ahead and check out my sale uh, it has swift ui camp and all of my 20 swift ui products so go ahead and check that out the link is in the description